In this video, we're going to look at the Bija pump that Haas used on many machines over the years. Small, medium, large verticals, and horizontals. This pump is critical for a couple of reasons. It supplies oil to the spindle bearings, linear guides, and ball screws, and incorrect lubrication and contamination are the leading cause for spindle failures. You must always rebuild the pump every time you replace the spindle or if there's a contamination at the bottom of the reservoir, or obviously if the pump is not working correctly. Regardless of the age or year of your pump, always use Haas part number 93-2666 from parts.haascnc.com, which includes a new filter, gasket, and a new motor. It is critical that the motor is always replaced. Do not skip this step. The gearbox system within the motor has small nylon gears and it's very possible that the teeth on these gears may be damaged. Let's go through the rebuilding process of this unit. Before removing the existing pump from the machine, make sure you have a workbench or similar clean, flat surface with plenty of space to work on. Remove the motor cover and cut off the motor wires closest to the connector that fasten the leads to the power cord. Remove the used motor. To install the replacement motor, strip the existing leads about a half an inch. Intertwine the wires and crimp the connectors. Now, remove the four screws that hold the reservoir to the tank lid assembly. Next, Scrape the used gasket from the top of the reservoir. Discard the used oil, if any, and clean the reservoir thoroughly. Make sure there is no sludge remaining in the reservoir. Remove and discard the discharge tube and install the new one from the kit. Remove and discard the canister filter. Clean the o-ring and filter cap. and reinstall the o-ring and filter cap without the centered bronze filter. This Beezer supply kit comes with this centered bronze filter. Do not install these centered bronze filter because these can clog easily and with today's synthetic oil, they are just not necessary. Remove the components from the secondary filter and replace them with the new ones from the kit. Install the new reservoir gasket and the reservoir. Reconnect the tank assembly and fill the tank to the fill line with the recommended oil. You can get mobile SHC 625 by going to parts.haascnc.com. Do not use mobile vector 2. When you use mobile vector 2, sludge collect in the reservoir. This will cause the pump assembly to become clogged. Now let's test the unit. Lift the plunger to hand prime the pump. Do this until the pressure read a minimum of 20 PSI or 1.38 bars. If the lever arm pushes up on the plunger, you will not be able to hand prime the pump. If this happens, go to the MDI mode and command the spindle to run at 5 RPM. This will turn on the oil pump motor beginning the oil pump cycle. It may take up to 30 minutes for the next pump cycle. But once the lever arm drops, you can then hand prime the pump. When that is complete, disconnect the oil feed line from the fitting above the canister filter and pull up on the plunger. Oil should come out of the fitting when the plunger is operating correctly. Reconnect the fitting with the spindle running at 5 RPM. Observe the pump operation. Remember, the pump takes about 30 minutes to do a complete cycle. Look at the oil pressure gauge when the plunger drops. The oil pressure gauge should show a minimum of 20 PSI and can go up to 50 PSI. The pressure gradually decreases to zero in three to 10 minutes. If the pressure drops less than three minutes, there may be a leak in the system. One final note, when you replace the spindle, 
it's a good idea to replace the spindle lube line that goes from the tank to the spindle cartridge. These might become brittle, cracked, or kinked after years in service. You can get this 532nd OD line at HaasParts.com. For more information on your Beezer pump or other service-related information on your machine, visit DIY.HaasCNC.com and thanks for watching.